Hi, my name is Gabby Helfrich, and I'm here to help you with your Northern Valley Youth Orchestra Philharmonic Trombone Audition today. We'll go through each part of the audition, and I'll play through it to give you a demonstration and also give you a couple practice tips and things to look out for along the way. So we'll start with this scale. It's an F major scale, just the one B flat in first position in this one. Um, always make sure that you're checking metronome markings, tempo markings on auditions. So I've got 84 beats per minute pulled up right here. Sounds like this. It tells us to play the whole scale twice. First time legato, which means smooth and connected. The second time staccato, which means there's going to be space between each of the notes. Also be sure to make sure that you have the full four beats of the whole note at the end of the scale. So first time smooth with a do articulation, second time separated with a ta articulation. One, two, group. <laughs> scale in one breath each time. You definitely don't have to do that. I would recommend maybe taking a breath after the top note, that high F would be a great place to breathe if you need a breath in the middle of the scale there. Um, you also heard that I definitely made a conscious effort to keep those quarter notes long even when I was playing staccato and keeping space between the notes. The next part of your audition here is the excerpt from Dance of the Tumblers. There are a lot of staccatos in this one so make sure that you're working on not clipping the notes too short with a tut articulation, but just a ta articulation with space in between each of those notes. That double F at the beginning, fortissimo, means play with a big full sound, but not any louder than you can play with a, a nice sound. Um, you don't want it to sound too harsh. So here's our tempo marking 120 for this one. It's really important when you're starting out with that dotted quarter note that you're feeling the beat as well as a subdivision to make sure that you have that quarter note for a nice beat and a half. So one and two, ta 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 ta. Also pay attention to the breath marks throughout this piece. Um, they really help a lot with the phrasing. The B naturals in the second to last measure there in fourth position. They're both B naturals in that measure, even though just the first B has the natural with it. All right, here we go. One, two. <sighs> Make sure to give that last quarter note a full beat as well. Don't clip that one too short when you get to the end there. Um, yeah, there's that one. So solo then is the third part of this audition. Of course, if you have something that you've been working on for school or for any other reason, that's probably a great thing to use. It doesn't have to be any longer than two minutes. But if you don't have something, this solo that they provided here is a great option. It's a moderato. You could take it anywhere from 84 to 90, 96 beats per minute, per minute if you wanted. I'm gonna take it at a nice 90 today. Starting out mezzo forte at the beginning, same key signature, which is nice as our scale from the beginning, just one flat in our key signature there. When we have the dynamics, make sure you're following them, starting out with a solid mezzo forte so you can drop down to that mezzo piano on line two. Crescendo through line three to the forte for those last couple measures. And then the DC Alcoda means to go all the way back to the beginning. So we'll go back, start there. And then when you get to the coda sign, which looks like a target, like an O with a plus sign through it, that's when you'll jump down to the coda. You'll notice there that it says a cello rondo, which means to speed towards the end with a crescendo into that final note. I would be careful when you get to the coda to make sure that you stay mezzo piano because that's what we were prior to moving to the coda. So you have room for that final crescendo to the forte at the end. 
When you have these slur markings in this solo, make sure that you're not trying to slur them like without any articulation inside of the mouth here. Like in measure three, we don't want to go because that just doesn't work for a slur on trombone. Try to put a strong ta on the first note of a slur and then da da with a D in the other notes of that slur. You'll hear me um, demonstrate that throughout this piece. So pay attention to those accents, crescendos, slurs. Here we go. Back at 90 beats per minute. Again, you can go a bit slower than this if needed. One, two. <laughs> piano section, the crescendo, all of that. I had wanted to point out one thing to Oh, you see me in a measure three using my trigger for the B, C, D. If you don't have an F attachment trombone with that trigger, no worries. Just make sure that you're moving that arm relaxed, but as quickly as you can to go from first to sixth position. With, relax and, with relaxation in that arm will really help you to achieve that slur in there. Practice with a metronome as much as possible, but of course, when you get to the, the accelerando, don't let that metronome hold you back. But always clean is more important than fast whenever you're doing anything like this. So if any of those tempo markings are a little bit out of your range, clean is always much more important than fast. Good luck with your audition.